Okay, so now we know what's in the box. Let's uh, let's talk about it because a ukulele that looks like this must have an interesting story behind it. It must be the work of a genius, and it is. This is a Seren Custom, a Master Grade 5A Curly Coa Tenor Ukulele, a traditional style ukulele, built by uh, Shinji Takahashi, the, the man behind Seren. Seren is the name of his custom shop brand. That's when he's building the instruments himself using largely traditional methods, very few, if any, hand um, power tools or kind of modern machinery in his build, mainly built by hand. Uh, much like um, a resident of the same region, Sumi, Sumi Kobo, some of the best ukuleles that I've ever seen as a ukulele player, collector, enthusiast. And Seren is right up there. We've only ever had one before. It was a soprano, which was also a traditional style, uh, more of a rope bound soprano. And it stood out to me, even though that ukulele was maybe four or five years ago, like I can still feel like I'm holding it in my hands because I'd never played a soprano like it. And this tenor has the same magic in its own way. So first of all, to look at, it's very reminiscent of early Kamaka ukulele, some of the really early examples of um, high co curly koa, high grade koa Kamaka ukes. It's got that Kamaka shape to it. As you can see, it's a satin finish, a natural finish, urethane finish with this really I mean, just look at it. I feel like less talking, more looking is the way forward with this ukulele. You know, normally this kind of wood doesn't pop on a satin finish, but the wood is that, um, well, it's just that eccentric and quirky and over the top. As Canaleo would say, it has drama. And you also have an abalone rosette with abalone binding, although the binding, as you'll see on the close-up, is actually away from the corner it's not traditionally bound it's more of a kind of cosmetic only binding with a rosewood fingerboard and bridge and on the fingerboard you'll see tree of life abalone inlay hoping I'm catching that in the natural light here and a slotted headstock with uh, the classic bullhorn style inlays you would see on old Martins and Gibsons from the turn of the century um, with a tiny Seren twist. I've not seen one that looked exactly like this before. And then you have Goto gold tuners. Really good tuner, one of the best tuners. And just a tiny, well, I just love the shaping of the headstock. That's kind of what I'm trying to say, but I can't find the words. Words fail me, honestly, which is such a shame because this ukulele does so much talking without actually saying a word. And it's one of those examples, that, as many of you will know, I'm a big fan when a ukulele has this art meets music vibe to it. You know, this ukulele is a modern take on the most traditional ukuleles out there. And it's just so intricately built with such storied, eccentric wood that when you look at it from different angles, it tells a completely different yeah look at that i'm just you know sometimes i just get bored bored of talking i just want to look at the instruments myself look at that up close such a beautiful piece of wood um the nut width on this is 36 mil but it has a really wide string spacing and quite an interesting shape to the neck so the neck is like much like a modern kawaii uh, player series ukulele but with a wider string spacing so if you like 38 mil nut widths you probably like this but if it had been a 38 mil nut width, the neck shape would have made it probably a bit too uncomfortable for many. Likewise, if you like 35 mil nut widths, you should give this a try because in the first position, the chords don't feel quite so spaced out. Yeah, <laughs> basically I'm trying to say that, you know, it's it, it's an expensive instrument, but I'd be pretty shocked if anyone who tried it didn't like it. <laughs> so this is a Seren custom tenor. Um, I'm gonna give it another play for you now and see what you think.
Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about Seren ukuleles, it's worth checking out the guy's website. Although it's translated from Japanese, it's very interesting to see the various builders that we have come to know and love that have passed through his doors. He has a sub-brand called T Guitar slash T Ukes, which build um, more modern machined high-end ukuleles. So you know, he's doing the custom shop the old way and he's doing the modern thing as well. And some of his apprentices in the past have been builders in their own right. The, the, the one that really impressed me most is uh, Jung Tae from Owlcraft, who was an apprentice for Seren. Makes loads of sense because Jung Tae is probably one of the top builders in the world right now. And it's lovely to see where those influences have come from. If you have any questions about this ukulele, you can give me a call on 01202430820 or you can email me at alex at ukulele.co.uk. Those of you that were looking for a concert or a soprano comparison video this week, I'm really sorry. I didn't have enough time and when this ukulele landed on my doorstep, I needed to make it my priority to show it to all of you. Have a great day. I will see you next week.